Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is having uh, a good day. Hopefully everybody had a good trading day. Um, again, you know, not 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 a lot has changed from uh, the weekend update. You know, we talked about um, very, very bullish market. Um, the players may be changing from day to day. Uh, speculation money uh, is still very, very uh, obvious, okay? Um, now that we got all the big major hitters out of the way, the Apples, um, the Facebooks, the Googles, um, you know, the Amazons of the world, the Netflix, now we're kind of shifting into like phase two, right? Not to kind of, uh, you know, borrow a word from this whole co Corona craziness, but that's kind of where we are. We're kind of like in phase two of earnings. And now we are looking for the next tier. So the Roku's of the world, the Beyond's of the world, and the videos of the world. And it's it's it very is quickly being very apparent to it doesn't make a difference of what the day is. We're still more or less getting exactly the same aggression every single day. And matter of fact, this morning, um, you're probably not going to find a more aggressive first half hour of trading, uh, especially in the beta world that you saw this morning, uh, Facebook, uh, Apple, um, Roku, ZM. I mean, we'll talk about the individual pivots in a second, but what the most amazing part about what we're continuing to see here is there is no slowdown, okay? Again, we talked about this yesterday um, in during the, the weekend video. Yeah, you might have days that you're going to have a hiccup, right? There'll be an exhaustion and maybe a buyer strike, but again, the, 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 the mantra of the tape is continue to take the strong stocks higher. Option order flow is, is an absolute godsend uh, where you're trying to take advantage of, of price action. Again, I traded today, uh, I traded today Facebook, I traded today uh, ZM, but I also traded three or four small cap stocks all of, of order flow, literally all of order flow, uh, solo, right? So, I mean, you can just see these moves intraday, like solo. This is right off, right off the pit, you know, right off uh, order flow. Solo, for example, uh, GME, right? Solo, GME. Uh, what else the hell did I trade? NIO today, right? Off order flow as well. NIO, um, again, I, I kind of consider NIO kind of a smaller cap now, uh, name just because it was like five, six bucks a couple months ago. But, but again, what we're seeing in this market and this what's making this market special here is there's something there for everybody. The common denominator is stop overthinking of what the whole overall economy is doing. Stop overall thinking, making excuses of why the Fed is the reason the market's going higher. Whatever the reason is, the weather, you know, whatever the reason is, it, it's irrelevant at this point. Again, take advantage of the price action. Again, we don't know how long this market is going to behave uh, going forward. Again, it could stop tomorrow. Okay. We could go back into uh, normalcy. Okay. Whatever quote unquote, the word normalcy is very subjective, but we don't know when it's going to stop. And the most important part right now is to continue, try to continue to take advantage of the days that are, are giving you aces, that are giving you kings, that are giving you queens. The days that we see that there's absolute no value, that you're waking up in the morning and you're saying to yourself, well, the channels are congested. Um, you know, everything is in the middle of the range. Uh, everything is close to supply. There's not enough strength to get it over. There's not enough weakness to present fear. See, those are the days that you stop, right? We, we talk about those days in nausea because it's so important for, for traders to understand the difference between a day of trading and a premium day of trading. And we woke up this morning, again, we already knew we were gonna be uh, buy bias, right? We talked about this on the video. We knew uh, there was gonna be tremendous value today, especially in continuation names, uh, especially like a name like Apple, um, Facebook, you know, stuff like that. But the most important part is that this market is giving something for everybody you have to take advantage of the days that are premium and continue to push. The days that are 
obviously painful, obviously contracting the channels. Again, do the right thing, be an adult and kind of slide to the sidelines. But when you see a premium day, and we talked about this this morning uh, at Morning Strategy, when you, when you see me talk about, for example, uh, on the Twitter feed, Lowe's and Maxim and like Home Depot, you know the day's not premium. When you start talking about, you know, ZM and Facebook and Tesla and Roku and Netflix and Apple and beyond, that's a premium day. That's when, that's when the whole tribe, whether they're going to the upside or going to the downside, you know, that's a whole different story. But when you start seeing beta all attempting to confirm channels, you know there's a high probability that it's going to be a, a not only a premium day, in beta land, but it's gonna be a premium day in speculation money. And that's exactly what you saw today. Not enough that uh, beta went nuts. You had, again, you had the, you know, you had names like NKLA, you know, going nuts ahead of earnings. You have Beyond running nuts ahead of earnings. You have Roku, big, big bets into next, in, 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 into ahead of earnings. You saw big bets all over the place today. Uh, you saw ZM monster order flow the whole day. Again, this is what speculation money is. This is where people are willing to pay higher prices in a shorter period of time. Again, the options market is going to reflect the bets that they believe where the stock is going to go in a such a short term period. And that's where we are right now. Okay, so the idea that you can sit there and turn around and say, uh, I'm not going to trade until the market resets, you know, again, a lot of people have been having that conversation for six months. It, it, again, guys, and I, I say this till the end of time, nobody cares about our opinions. Nobody. Okay. The market will do what it has to do. Uh, you have two choices. You either, well, you have several choices. You can either complain, sit it out, okay, or act accordingly to what the market is giving you. And again, right now, uh, probably one of the most, uh, and it continues, okay, you know, this is like the last two years now, continues to be, uh, you know, one of the most aggressive markets that I can remember in almost 21 years of trading. And, you know, when you see moves, for example, like Microsoft, right? And you, you I mean, you're talking about a, tw what was the last time you saw an 11, 12 point move on Microsoft that had nothing to do with earnings, right? It's, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, looks like Trump is giving them the blessing uh, to either buy 30% of TikTok or, but try to buy the whole thing of TikTok. But the moral of the story is, again, when you have the hottest platform, and right now, if you have a teenager or preteen kid, they'll tell you TikTok's like the hottest thing out there. Uh, when your possibility having to buy the hottest platform on the planet, your stock is going to depreciate. And again, traders are willing to pay higher prices because again, uh, that's the environment that we're in. Uh, and again, just looking at from the macro point of view, uh, again, we talked about this yesterday uh, on the video. You know, the cues just fell a tad short of breaking out. Again, for the cues to kind of sustain the next leg up uh, is going to need to get above that 270 level. And tomorrow, again, I, I don't want to use the word, I'm a little cautious for tomorrow. The only only reason I say that, if you look at the high here was 270, if you look at the high here today was 270. So you can make an argument, again, not a very persuasive argument because I'm still, even though, even though what I'm about to say is a little sell side bias, right? Again, in other words, if we open up tomorrow and again, get rejected at 270, things are going to roll over. But again, even if that happens, okay, and at least we're at least conscious of this fact, even if that happens, there's so much speculation money, so many setups that have nothing to do with the NASDAQ 100 that it's so important to kind of concentrate and focus on that you can still do very, very well and at the same time have a nice orderly back test because some of these names are incredibly uh, tired. So Q's looking good. Uh, diamonds, very, very important close today. Uh, it reclaimed. Remember we were talking about uh, diamonds were trading in a very, very long duration uh, on the weekend video. Again, we finally got across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, almost a week and a half worth of selling. Got bought today, first close over the 10 day moving average. Again, you could see a slight rotation tomorrow into the Dow Jones stocks compared to the NASDAQ names. But again, there will be something for everybody. Nobody, you know, believe me, I am not calling for a sell bias day tomorrow. It's just something we have to kind of keep an eye uh, on the corner of our eye just to see what happens if the Qs do indeed do a triple top uh, off that 270 level. But again, very, very bullish 
uh, close today uh, on the diamonds. And if you look at the SPY, again, we covered this uh, on the video. Again, finally broke out of this channel. The only reason why it stopped, it hit the upper Bollinger Band today. And if you look back at the Qs from Friday, that's exactly the only reason the Qs stopped going up on Friday, just because we hit demand, and, excuse me, supply. So if we reclaim, you know, 329, 70, 330 on the SPYs is going to start uh, the next leg up. So today, I, I'm telling you, one of the more one of the more aggressive opens um, I could remember. Uh, again, we were all biased on beta today to the upside. Uh, literally, I think I put in, I think every single beta pivot, like literally every single beta pivot, and it absolutely exploded. The only one that didn't confirm uh, was Tesla. I was looking for a downside pivot that never came, uh, which is a good thing in a weird way. That's a good thing because again, there is a lot of speculation money flow. If you look at uh, the options market on Tesla today, you started seeing the weekly 1605s, 1610 calls. And that is speculation that, again, it will be added uh, to the S&P 500 at some point. Again, these guys are betting uh, it's going to come at the end of the week. Again, we don't know. This is all speculation. This is all hearsay. This is what, you know, uh, you know the headlines are being driven the last week or so. So people or traders are making bets accordingly ahead of this. But everything else went absolutely nuts. Uh, Zoom, uh, yeah, Zoom was great. Uh, Zoom, uh, 258 sneaky area, 260 macro needs to build. Uh, I traded this thing. It was great. Really, really big move. Uh, so here is the 258. Here, let me show you guys all the areas. So here is the 258, right? Here's the sneaky pivot. Again, not most people don't know what a sneaky pivot is, but here's what the sneaky pivot is, 258. Here is the macro, right? Here is the macro at 260. Here's the high uh, from July the 29th. It took both of them out. Just absolutely exploded. Went to 271. Huge move. Absolutely huge move. Uh, Facebook was awesome. There was th two, two ways to trade Facebook today. Uh, either a 251 dip, and it, that's exactly what it did. It traded to 251 or red to green. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, I traded it red to green. I caught it for like a dollar and change very, very aggressively. Uh, 251 dip for experienced traders. Again, this is where we talk about the 251 rising 60 minute support, right? Here's the rising 60 minute support at 251. It took that out, just went green, almost took out Friday's high. So, I mean, really, really good trade on, um, on Facebook. Tesla, obviously, again, never confirmed. Roku, Monster, again, they're coming ahead of earnings for the 165, 170, 175, 180 calls. They're very bullish on Roku. 159 needs to build. Rejected there is July the 21st. Here was Roku, right? Here was Roku. Here was the 59. Just absolutely exploded. Uh, went to like 63 and changed. So big, big move on Roku. You can see beta was ridiculously strong today. Uh, 495, Netflix needs to build. Uh, again, the big macro number was 501. That's where it got rejected into supply two weeks ago. Uh, not only did it take out the 495, took out the 501, you started seeing 505, 510, 520, 525, excuse me, not 525, but 505, 510, 520, our uh, near-term call buyers coming in on Netflix. Huge move, right? So here is uh, here is the 495, right? Here is the 495. Here is the 501, and the stock went all the way up to uh, 503. I still like this thing for tomorrow. Uh, looks really, really good. Uh, Apple was definitely by far the move of the day. Um, Apple 433.20, 433.50 needs to build. Again, experienced traders only. The first move, I thought it was only going to get to 437. Yeah, Apple said, hold my beer. Here's Apple. Here's the 433.20, right? I thought it was going to get to here. Okay, once in a while, it goes through supply. Well, this was the day. Uh, so it goes, it takes out that 433, 20, 50 area and goes all the way to 444 on one candle. Just an absolute, even if you screwed up and sold it in the, in the 37s, you still got four points out of it. Just a big, big move there uh, as well. Uh, beyond the head of earnings, they do report tomorrow, 128, 128, 50. Uh, needs to build again. You can get you can get the impression these things are just on fire today. Here's the 28, right? Here's the 2850. Just just explosion. Went to 34. Uh, big moves here. Nvidia went nuts. Uh, absolutely nuts. Um, Facebook, blah blah blah. Experience what degree? Yeah. So here, here is Nvidia. Just went just bananas. Absolutely bananas. Uh, 431 sneaky pivot. 432 macro needs to build. Uh, Nvidia reports. I think the week after. I, I could be wrong. But here is the 431, 432 area, just went nuts, went all the way up to 444. 
huge, huge moves here. Um, just monster moves, just huge moves everywhere. Um, one by one by one. Oh, and then I traded NIO. You know, then I traded NIO. Uh, $13 rejected twice, needs to build. Uh, NIO had call buyers all the way today. The 14s, the 15s, even saw the 20s uh, close relatively at the high of the day. Uh, Netflix take on the way up. Netflix is a monster. New highs. Tesla repeat. Again, this is kind of my point. Tesla repeat buyers of the 1605, 1610 bets. Again, they are betting. Uh, or at least speculating that it will go into the S&P 500. Uh, tomorrow you have Beyond reporting, uh, NKLA reporting. Um, I think Space reported this evening. I haven't had a chance to, to look at it yet. Uh, you have Roku coming up. Next week you have NVIDIA coming up. So the monster, I mean the monster, the, mar the market looks great. Uh, I mean, look, can you get a pullback? Maybe, a, you know, a little bit of a pullback tomorrow. And Apple, you know, Apple did have a big, big move up, right? Two-day big move up. Looks a little tired. I'll watch it tomorrow on the gap and trap. If they gap up the market and trap, you know, late longs, you could get a nice little reversal just for a trade. Again, nobody's talking about this. Apple's going to go back down to 400. We're just talking about an opening range 60 minute channel to the downside just because of a little bit of profit taking, nothing more. Uh, Facebook, I still think it might rest one more day. I do believe Facebook will have another run towards the end of the week, uh, you know, testing Friday's highs as well. Uh, overall, just great market action. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, the most important part, if, especially if you are a new trader, again, you don't need to know everything at once. You don't need to figure everything out at once. Every single day that goes by, you're going to learn something new. You're going to you're going to try to omit bad habits, curb your emotions, all these things that every single trader prior to you has went through. And again, don't put that pressure on yourself. It will click. I promise, it will click. The greatest. Uh, teacher possible that you can have is time. Time makes everything better. Guys, God bless. Have a great night. I'll see you all. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 vault where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.